Hey everybody, I'm Rob. And I'm Lori Marie Jenkins. And we are artists, almost formally from Vallejo, California. And we are <laughs> moving, moving to, to Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Ah, we have a very exciting video for you today because people have requested or you heard a comment that yeah. people would like to know what we're taking. Mm -hmm. uh, from Vallejo, California to Costa Rica. What are the, some, some of the things that we found out that we might need when we were there for two weeks? Yeah. So. And it was, it was really good. Uh, the two weeks we were there in March, we just had a chance to really kind of nestle into Costa Rican life. And so it's, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff, the power outages, um, the weather, what clothes we're going to want. What clothes uh, we're not going to want. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. You know, what... We have grocery shopping, and so what things did we really like from the states that we can't get there, and so or expensive, right? Yeah. yeah, and so we've kind of got a we've got a little show and tell for you guys today of things that we got either grocery stores here, some stuff on Amazon, um, and we talked with some people in Costa Rica. So one of the reasons we got some things here is a lot of these things might be available in Costa Rica. But they might not be highest quality. The quality, yeah. Or, or if they are, you're going to pay a little bit more. And so, you know, if we want to uh, start off with that. So some of the things that we saw in the kitchens where we were staying, it's like, oh, these are great. This is a great idea. And this is a good one. This is our show and tell. Yeah. Oh, what, did you have anything else you wanted to? Yeah, I, I wanted to check in because you had mentioned the kitchen and uh -huh. um, they cook with gas there, actually propane. Yep. The tanks. So something like the electric hot pot um, that I've grown accustomed to using, that is replaced with a teapot on the um, stove top, the gas stove top. So. It was really good. Yeah. The two weeks that we were there, it was really good. It was, uh, for me, it wasn't so much like a vacation. It was actually being introduced into what our lifestyle was going to be. Kind of an immersion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the power outages, like Rob had said. So what did we want to do around those things? And the great thing is that a gas range works when the power's out. Yes. So you can cook, <laughs> cook dinner by candlelight or lamplight. Right. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does knock the internet out for a little while. Uh, the power outages weren't very long. No, but then no. it takes a minute for the um, power to come back on. So. so pull out your puzzle, pull out your cards and games. Yeah, which I love. Uh huh. <laughs> and so we got to say, oh my gosh, you know, if Rob's going to go to bed and read without light because there's no power, what do we need to do about that? So we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, this is an example. Oh. Oh, okay. Just one, one more thing. For those of you who don't know, we are actually moving to Costa Rica two weeks from Saturday. You'll see this on Saturday. It'll be posted. So that's Saturday the 16th. Wow. So <laughs> just over two weeks, we are out of here, taking the dog and the bins and getting on a flight and moving to Costa Rica. So. Yeah. And this Saturday we take uh, Hudson to the vet, get his paperwork done, because that has to be done two weeks before we fly. Yep. So that will be the two-week mark. And we're having uh, our final party here at our house, which we just sold. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. We, a... we are not homeowners anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are sitting in a house, someone else's house now. Yes. <laughs> Basically renting for three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Which we're grateful for. Okay. All right. Thank you. Want to you. talk about the canister? Yeah. So we noticed that um, where we were staying, they have a lot of these um, pop top containers for food. And they just, they were wonderful stuff. I've seen the ones where the kind of flaps come down on the sides. And there was, those were okay. But this is, it's like a uh, pop top lid. And so it's, it was wonderful. We used the ones in the kitchen we were in for beans, for rice for uh, coffee and... All right, slight interruption. Right. <laughs> Deliveries. <laughs> Deliveries. <laughs> and what's exciting about that is, do you want to show them what you got? Okay, so we were talking about the power outages and I'm a pretty avid reader. So, book lamp. And so this is just one of those clip-on book lamps. Uh, very small, um, very small light. 
but uh, kind of fun. It's neat because it it spreads in two, so you can cover the whole book with it. All right, next. Okay, so um, one thing we did notice when the lights go out, when the power goes out in Costa Rica, it is dark. Dark. Dark, 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 <laughs> because everything's out. Um, the place we were staying, they do have some solar panels, so there were some lights in a little sort of uh, outdoor gazebo area, but street lights are out, all the lights. So it's just, you want a flashlight or a headlamp, preferably on your bedside. So if you, if you wake up, you got no, no power going on, you can at least find your way to wherever you're going. So this was a fun little thing I looked up to. So I don't know if you can see, it's just an LED lantern. And um, so I got... Uh, we got two of these. Yeah, I got two of these, and uh, it's just a nice little lantern, nothing super fancy, nothing super expensive, but um, you can have a little bit of light or a lot. And so this, we thought, would be so handy um, when we didn't have much to do, put this out on the table for a game of cards. Segway? Segway, same thing, headlamps. Um, so we're each gonna have two headlamps, um, one probably at our bedside, but, uh, you know, just a regular old headlamp and, you know, most of the people who were there, um, whoo, oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. There you go. That's the emergency thing. And so the headlamps are great, um, just to have handy. So if, if, if it's raining really hard and you need to get out and clear some leaves out of a gutter or something like that, hands-free. Um, this is another tip from, uh, one of the locals. And this is just a magnetic key hider. And so this could be, could be used, I don't know, to hide a key someplace where uh, you can find it, but other people can't um, go to the beach, anything like that. So uh, they have locking ones, which is nice. So just a little magnetic key holder. Sunblock. 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 And sunblock. Yes. So uh, for those that don't know or yeah, didn't know. Uh, Rob did work at Trader Joe's. Retired on April 3rd. <laughs> Retired a week ago. Mm. So we went shopping because when you work <laughs> at Trader Joe's, you get a really good discount. Yes. And so we did uh, a very large yes. shopping trip, trip at Trader Joe's <laughs> so that we could get that discount before he retired. So that's where that sunblock comes from. Uh, looks like we got some toothpaste. And lip balm. And lip balm, very important. Yep. Oh, plenty of deodorant. Tom's deodorant. One of my faves. Mm -hmm. and um, a lot of these things are available in Costa Rica. Toothpaste, sure. Deodorant, sure. And so when we run out, I'll I'll get something there. It's not that big of a deal, but. So Rob has his favorites. Yes. <laughs> so that's what you'll see a lot of, his favorites. Yep. We did get some coconut oil. Uh, you can buy some gorgeous coconut oil, of course, in Costa Rica. A uh, container this size would be at least $10. Yeah. Yeah, probably like $12 there. And at Trader Joe's, I don't want the wrestling to be, uh, at Trader Joe's it was under $4. Right. So I suggested maybe we get some uh, coconut oil there. This yeah, and we, we like that for skin care. It's really nice for dry skin. This is another one of Rob's favorites that's going. Yeah, Dr. Bronner soap. Looked around, can't really find it. If I could, I'm sure it'd be pricey at a health food store or something like that. So we got the bars. I got a couple of the Dr. Bronner's things, but just things that we, you know, we're gonna use it in our transition. Hudson's chicken strips. Now, normally I make the, his chicken strips in the dehydrator, but I won't have my dehydrator for a few months. So we got some chicken strips for him. And hopefully we won't have any problems getting this stuff through customs. Everything is in its packaging, its original packaging. So that, um, I don't think it's gonna be a big issue. There's nothing we're bringing through that's, that's illegal. We were instructed that maybe spices were a good idea to yeah. take. Yeah. And so we got some of our favorite spices. Yeah. If, if any of you guys know of Trader Joe's, we've got their fantastic lemon pepper, everything but the bagel seasoning. Delicious if you haven't. Yeah. One of my favorites is the Ajika seasoning from the country of Georgia. Um, big fan of hard boiled eggs. This on a hard boiled egg is great. 
And then we also got the everyday seasoning. Um, so they got some really good hot sauce in Costa Rica, salt and pepper and all those things are readily available. These are just more favorites of ours. And um, I know some people who come back for a, um, a border trip or, you know, a, um, a visa trip or just a trip to the States, they'll, they'll get some things like this. I guess we've got some bug spray. Yep. Didn't need much bug spray. I, I no, was we did pleasantly not. surprised. A lot of sunscreen and it's, it can be expensive there. Um, especially if you're in a, in a tourist area, it can be very expensive. Airborne, good stuff for traveling. Mm -hmm. Just uh, vitamin C, minerals, some electrolytes. I'm a gum chewer. Yes, she is. <laughs> and so I priced the gum uh, while we were in Costa Rica. A pack like this uh, goes for like $1.70, and I can buy it for $0.99. Cents. So I got a fair amount of gum. I figured that wouldn't go bad. Melatonin for me. I, I didn't look around and it might be available there, but that's uh, one of my one of my things. Little sleep aid kind of thing. And then one of the biggest things that we didn't find was affordable trail mix. Affordable. Trail yes. Mix. Affordable, yes. Affordable being the operative word. Yeah, you can find little bags of peanuts and mixed nuts and things like that, and they're not. They're not cheap, so it's just not as common of an item. And it's one of Lori Marie's four food groups. <laughs> and trail mix, yogurt being another one. That's right. <laughs> Plenty of yogurt there, which is great. Plenty of other good food. But we did stock up on some of our favorites. These will stay in the packaging to get through customs. And then this will last her. We got, I think, like six of each, each bag. So that'll last her a week. Ha, ha, ha. We'll see. But yeah. Some things that we didn't have in the, the Trader Joe's shopping. Um, one thing, I have hearing aids. I bought extra hearing aid batteries. Mm -hmm. um, and so one thing we also got, we each got an extra pair of flip-flops. Yep. Um, I have, I've got a pair of flip-flops that I used when we were in Costa Rica for the two weeks and they were very comfortable. And so I thought, well, what the heck, I'm going to get another pair. Mm -hmm. And uh, since I've worn them and they work well for me, um, I got another pair. So that yeah. was a good idea. And I just have a pair of not very expensive Teva flip-flops I've had for years, and I love them. They fit great. And so I just got a backup pair. Um, it, of course, it's Costa Rica. You can buy you can buy flip flops you, there. Yeah, and, you can buy flip flops at the Little Mercado. Yeah, for sure. And, and they do have a Walmart. In, yep. In uh, oh my gosh, we probably spoke about it in a previous uh, yeah. video, but it was huge. 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 <laughs> yeah. Every everything you could want: mattresses, groceries, uh, kitchen goods. Everything. Yeah. It, it's just a huge. Story. They probably had lawn lawn mowers and machetes in there too. Somewhere. Probably. They probably <laughs> did. <laughs> machetes being the lawn mowers. Uh, I don't see many lawn mowers. They no, use weed uh, whackers. Weed whacker. Yeah. Yeah. Instead I'll, of a lawn mower. I'll wait and get my machete when I'm there. That's right. Good you, idea. You have to have one. It's yeah. Just... We've been busy packing the bins and things like that, and. Do you have some kind of an idea on how many bins we're taking on the plane with us? I know yes, we're each going to yes. have a suitcase. Yeah, so a large hard-sided hard suitcase each. And then the big black Costco totes with the yellow lid. Um, those guys, we might be able to get away with five of those. And then we'll also have some carry-ons and we'll have the dog. Right. So. We've seen videos on YouTube of other people moving to Costa Rica with a lot more than that. Haven't seen too many people with too much less than that. But both of us being artists, it's, it's, there's some tough decisions that need to be made about what we, what we think we need, what we're going to need, and what we can afford to take on the plane. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's where we are now. We're really getting down to the nitty gritty um, because we have stuff that will be in storage here in the Bay Area. Got a storage unit, already started moving some things. Moving um, more to the storage unit this weekend. Yep, um, we got a shipping company referred by um, Sarah, Elena. Sarah Elena. Pablo Arias is his name. They've been really helpful and informative. They are a customs broker, so that makes things so much easier when your goods get to Costa Rica. 
is having a Costa Rican customs broker so that they can they can work through all of the issues. You will have to pay some import duties on things. Um, they don't want you just bringing a whole bunch of expensive stuff and not paying any duties on it, right. taxes. And the shipping company that we have hired, also yeah. we've hired them, uh, they will come to the storage unit where our things are and they will actually pack it up, or at least that's what I understand. Right, I don't think they pack it up there. I think they will be loading all of our stuff into a truck, they take it to their warehouse. We don't have enough stuff to take a 20-foot shipping container. Thank goodness. Definitely don't have <laughs> enough for a 40-foot shipping container. Thank goodness. <laughs> so in the, the scheme of payments, basically we're taking 10 cubic meters. So that's going to work out to four or five tightly wrapped pallets. And then so there's some furniture, some of my tools, just some art supplies of both of ours. And then those pallets get loaded in to somebody else's container, you know, a few other people, and then that gets shipped down to Costa Rica, goes through customs, gets delivered to wherever we are, uh -huh. which we don't know yet. Right. And do we have some kind of an idea of from point A to point B, point A being them coming to the storage unit, point B them delivering it to wherever we are, I'm sure in Platineo, but um, any t idea on the time frame? It, it might be as much as two months door to door. Um, some of it depends on how fast the customs warehouses are, are going. As most of you know, there's shipping issues all over the world. Originally when I talked with Pablo, they were going to ship the goods from Los Angeles, the port of Los Angeles, down to the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. Things are so slow in California, it's actually faster now to ship them from California to Florida. And so our stuff will go to Florida, get on a ship there, and then go down to the Caribbean coast, and then overland, and that's still <laughs> faster than trying to go through California. So I can't imagine it being done less than in less than a couple months. It would take right. a couple of months for that traveling. So it would be a matter of timing for us. We're going to be... Um, in one place for the next four to five months so maybe in three to four months we might find our future home yeah. either rental or whatever rob will come back meet the people at the storage unit and then have that shipped and then maybe it'll coordinate so that in our next home mm -hmm. we may have something yes <laughs> and if there's one thing we've learned in dealing with all of these issues is in costa rica and Everything that we're doing is you just have to have patience. Pura vida. Pura vida. Yeah. <laughs> tranquilo, tranquilo. Absolutely. Yeah, things are not always going to go on your schedule. They probably, they might never go on your schedule. So right. We're we're doing our best just to lose that Western time frame, and realize that things will happen when they happen. So. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. I'm well, there. What we're taking down in two weeks, uh, May 1st is our arrival date in Costa Rica. What we're taking down is, is going to be plenty of stuff for us to be content. Absolutely. And that brings up the point where we're going to land there May 1st. And what happens when we land? So we hired Sarah Elena as our relocation specialist. And it has been worth, worth it in so many ways because of the people that we met through her, the information that we gathered. And then what actually happens with this is um, Sarah Elena has her people who will meet us at the airport on May 1st with a van and will actually drive us to our property. Um, one of the benefits of their service is they will actually help find your first rental. Since we already found it ourselves, that wasn't necessary for this rental. But yeah, um, getting through customs, we know the key thing is once you've gotten through customs and you're going to get your luggage, grab some green shirt guys. The guys in green shirts at the baggage claim in San Jose Airport. So grab like two of those guys, uh, give them a nice little tip afterwards. They load all of your bins and bags up on the big rolling carts and they'll help you load up onto the machines, get through, um, get through the customs there and, and then we'll have somebody waiting for us out there. Because it's a very, very good question. We've got way more stuff than we can fit in a car. Right. And we don't have a car yet. Um, that's something that we'll be taking care of probably in our first month. 
Yeah. So. Well, we have a car for the first month. Yes, we're renting. We do have a car that's been offered to us to rent for yeah. the first month. So that was very nice. We've actually started a little community there in Platinum, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Yeah, met that's some nice people, people and um, um, I'm sure we'll meet a whole lot more. Yeah, that's I think great. that's good. Yeah. And so if you have anything that you would recommend for somebody moving to Costa Rica, chime in on the comments or... Uh, you know, anything that, uh, anything that you want to add to the conversation is more than welcome. Yes, please. If you have any questions for us or comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. One of us will respond. Yeah. So it's kind of fun to... And if we forgot finished. anything important, let us know. Right. <laughs> because as we leave, we'll be like, what did I forget? I feel like I forgot something. What did I forget? <laughs> Bathing suit. <laughs> Passport. <laughs> So, so thank you so much for traveling along with us. This yes. Is, you know, we're going to take you right with us to Costa Rica mm -hmm. so that you can experience our adjustments yeah. and transitions and excitements. And maybe we'll even take you up to the little van guy that sells all the fruit. That would be awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of good stuff. The most you'll see video-wise is two more from America. Yeah, that's if crazy. That, if that. I know next next week we'll try to get one out. The following week is going to be... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't know where we're going to be staying that <laughs> night. Right. Hard to sleep on a hardwood floor without even a sleeping bag. <laughs> or, yeah, a blanket <laughs> or a pillow. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably be uh, camping out at a, a friend or an Airbnb for yeah. a night or two. Yeah. Sounds details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Details. Oh my gosh. Right, right. All well, right. Thanks. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. We'd yeah. love, love to hear your comments and uh, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, all the support. We really, really appreciate it. And maybe you'll come visit us in Costa Rica. Woohoo! <laughs> so, adios. Ciao.